Come closer, come closer. Huddle in. Let's, with let's keep warm. each other warm <laughs> by being close. So we're here today. It's um, November 28th, Giving Tuesday. Uh, we're here to do a ribbon cutting and kind of a dedication of this rainbow bridge for Madison, our anteater, who passed away on June 16th, 2023. And so when she passed, uh, we wanted to create something in her memory here on the farm that would stand forever. I wanted to just quickly tell a little story about Madison and how we got to know Madison. Lena and I and you know, some of the team members were here, but we, um, it actually happened in this very barn. We, uh, we came here and it was probably a week after we took over. We had the animals inside of this barn because I, I don't know if it was storming, something going on. And we came in in the morning and Madison was gone. We we're like, oh no, what are we gonna do? Lena hears this rustling, goes up and she sees this shadow in a trash bag. Well, Madison decided to take a nap. Early on, She'd been sleeping she went. All day she went of a trash bag ten feet. Food. She went ten feet, found a trash bag. It was warm. She huddled up in there and she took a nap. That was her. She was always animated. She was this animal that stole your heart, and everybody that met her, she stole their heart. And she was a huge part of this property and and this adventure and this journey that we set out on. And there were so many of you that in her life, the team that's here, uh, you guys gave her a wonderful life. One of the things that she really enjoyed and our team would bring her out and we had this old dilapidated deck here that, you know, kind of fell apart halfway through and you know it was a wooden deck that had probably been here forever. She found her times of enrichment out here searching for ants underneath of that thing and that became over that six week period of time that became her place and you know it, it's it's where she was happiest. And so Lena put the team, our maintenance team and and Johnny under an immense amount of pressure one day and said Johnny, we got a wedding coming up and it's in two weeks. And I promised these people that this old raggedy boardwalk would be gone and we'd have a new structure built by the time that wedding was here. That was two years ago when they booked with us and you know, we've spent all our money on these animals so we have to figure this out. And so bottom line is um, she gave him an impossible task and said build a 240 foot boardwalk that extends from the parking lot to the event venue where we stand right now. And um, not only did he get it done in, in two weeks, he did it through a hurricane and he did it in 10 days. And he, he, Johnny led this effort with our, our amazing team, some volunteers, but it was, um, it, it, was, it was huge. And it just put on display what this is. And this isn't just a, a boardwalk, this isn't just you know, any small thing. This is something that in the very beginning, everybody had without having to even say it. This is Madison. Madison.